Hi everyone, one of our goals here at MetaJungle is to provide free resources and tools to help all members of the NFT space succeed. That's why today we will be showing you how to use and create a link tree. A link tree is a great resource because it allows you to put all of your important links into one area so that it makes it easier for people to find you and your links. I'll be creating my own personal link tree and taking you along the journey with me, so let's go on ahead and get into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Linktree website. Once there, you're going to want to go ahead and press get started for free. After doing this, you will be prompted to create a free account. There is the option for a paid premium account. Really, the only difference is that by doing paid premium, you're going to get a few more options to change the aesthetics here at the end, which we'll dive into a little bit more. But today, I'm just going to go on ahead and create a free one. So as you can see, the first thing is I am prompted to choose my username and I'm going to do boss mom 99 because that is what you all know me as and that is what I go by. And I'm going to go ahead and include my email, which is going to be jaden at metajungle.io. And then it's also prompting you to do a password. My password is just going to be password one, two, three, four for right now. After you enter your password, just go on ahead and check this box right here. If you'd like to read the terms and conditions and privacy policy, all you have to do is click on them. But after you choose your username, your link tree name, and your password, it's going to prompt you to tell us a little bit about yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and put my name, which it already knows. It's Jaden. And then it looks like I'm going to have to verify your account by clicking the link we sent to your email. So I'm just going to go on ahead and do this real fast. Awesome. So it looks like I'm verified. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press add a new link. I'm going to go on ahead and put the title. This one is going to be my Twitter. And then I'm going to go on up here and head over to my Twitter profile. I'm going to highlight my Twitter URL up here and I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to head back to Linktree and where it says URL right here, I'm going to go on ahead and paste that. So that should have my Twitter all set up. And then I'm going to go on ahead and add a new link. This one is going to be the Meta Jungle Facebook page. So I'm just going to go on ahead and title it Meta Jungle Facebook. And then I'm going to head over here to my Facebook, highlight that URL, copy it, go back to Linktree, and put it there where it says URL as well. That should add our Meta Jungle Facebook. One really cool thing about um, Linktree as well is as you're doing this, it actually shows you a little phone over here. So it will show you exactly what it's going to look like as you do it. So after that, I'm going to go on ahead and add another new link. This one is going to be our Meta Jungle Instagram. So I'm going to title it as that. And then I'm going to head over to the Instagram. Same thing. I am actually going to go to my profile first. It's really important to do that. Otherwise, you're not going to get a link that sends somebody directly to your profile. So then after doing that, I'm going to go on ahead and go to my URL and copy it. And I'm going to do just like I've done with the other ones. Click where it says URL and add that link. And we're going to go ahead and speed this part up, but I'm going to include our Meta Jungle videos, our Meta Jungle podcast, and our Meta Jungle Discord. And then I'm going to go on ahead and put my OpenSea profile on here. So I'm going to put BossMom99 OpenSea profile. And I'm going to go to my OpenSea over here. Make sure that you go to your wallet profile because there is a difference between your personal wallet profile and your collection OpenSea profile. So I have pulled up my Boss Mom 99 wallet. And I'm going to copy and paste this into Linktree where it says URL. And this is going to be, like I said, my personal wallet on OpenSea. This is not a collection. So then I'm going to go on ahead and add a new link. And I personally do not have a collection, so I am going to use a member of the Meta Jungles just to show you guys what it looks like. Um, you guys hear me talk about Musafa fairly often. We are going to be using his Strangers, Faces, and Emotions collection. 
So I am going to go back to Linktree and I'm going to go on ahead and title it as that Strangers, Faces, Emotions. And then I am going to make sure that I am on the collection on OpenSea. And then I'm going to copy that URL. A really great way to make sure that you are on that is it after the OpenSea, it does say collections. And then it will also have the name of that collection underneath it. And you can check your URL by making sure it has those uh, three items, the OpenSea, the collection, and then the name of your collection. And after I've assured that, I'm going to go on ahead and go to URL and type that in and then add that to the new link. So as you can see, these are over here. It gives me access to see what they all look like, what my link tree is going to look like. So now that this is done, I am going to go on ahead and delete the stranger's faces and emotions just because that is not my collection. And I am going to go on ahead and press appearance. So the first thing it's going to do is it's going to prompt me to pick an image. I'm going to go on ahead and upload my PFP. She is my beautiful woman in weapons in case you guys ever wonder what project my PFP is from. So I'm going to press save. I'm going to press upload. And she should be uploaded. Yep. See, and she's going to pop up right here. And then my profile title is my name, Boss Mom 99 That's going to be what you entered earlier whenever you were choosing your link tree name. I'm going to go on ahead and add my bio. And now that I have my bio all done, I'm going to go on ahead and go down here and look at all of my options. And then I think I'm actually going to go on ahead and choose the mint right here. Ah, uh, no, I think we're actually going to do the smoke. Yep, I like that. So after this, I have created my link tree and I'm ready to share it. If you go up here where it says my link tree, it gives you the URL and it gives you the op option to share. I'm going to go on ahead and press share. It is pulled up where I can add it to my social medias right now. Um, I'm not going to do that yet, so I'm going to go ahead and press back. And instead, I'm just going to copy my Linktree URL so I can put it wherever I choose. And so keep an eye out for that. I am going to be adding it to a lot of my bios that you guys have direct access to. All right, everyone. Thanks for coming along that journey with me. It's pretty easy, as you can see. I am excited to have a link tree because it does put all my important links into one area. So make sure you check that out because one of my important links is our Meta Jungle Discord, where we're always posting more free resources and tools. So be sure to check it out. I'll see you guys there.